Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Nihal and in today's video, I'll be discussing how to do 10 year papers whether you're in class 10 or 12, CBSE, ICSE, any board basically, whichever exam you're giving, how to do the previous year question papers. Step number one, you should have a book which contains all the 10 year papers. For that, I would tell you go to any local store, get any random brand. The question paper is not different. You know, you do not need to go and buy a specific brand book online or anything, whichever is available easily. And when should you start? The most important thing is knowing when to start 10 year papers. As soon as your half yearly exams are over, you should start 10 year papers, even if your syllabus is not complete. So step number one would be as soon as your half yearly exams are over, just start the English language and Hindi language portion. Just keep doing these papers till your other subjects are complete. And the correct method of doing 10 year papers is by writing each and every answer. Yes, you need to write down each and every answer. Like them properly now going subject wise for english language i would say when you see the compositions so just decide which composition you want to do like personally i would always do the descriptive essays there are different options you should just stick to one because you can just improve on writing one particular type of essay it could be anything the narrative one the argumentative one picture composition i don't generally recommend but just choose a particular essay and for every single paper do that essay only and for practice this you could just read the answers of the other essays letter writing and notice for letter i would strongly recommend sticking to formal letter it's just easier it's just easy to gain marks in that notice and email are compulsory it's fixed so you don't have any other option do those and do the grammar portion of every single paper at least five times not less not more five times you should do the grammar portion of every single paper five times not less not more you should do the complete section but not like this like you've taken your book and you're just writing it down five times no the complete english language paper should be done without seeing you're not seeing the answer and then you're doing it yourself then give some gap like after five to ten days you are coming back to this paper and doing it again then see if you make the same mistakes or not if you don't come back to the paper you will keep making the same mistakes again and again same goes for hindi then for subjects like biology i would say just do the section one of every single paper like take 10 papers just do the first section complete that that section is done then go to section b choose the questions and do but when you're practicing at home you should complete all the questions even if it's optional obviously because in the main paper you don't know what is going to happen and the question that you don't know could come so you should practice every single question and doing 10 year papers is so important especially starting early some students just leave it up you know just before the pre-boards or their board exams that's when most students do the papers but i strongly recommend doing it from now it will be a lot less stressful and you will be really good at it if you want to score 97 98 99 or even 100 percent then you should start now now is the time to start so when you're done with the english and hindi portion and you're done with the syllabus also like one round of the syllabus like you have not perfected everything and that is very hard like exam ke dam pehle tak hota hi rahe hai. you know you keep learning new new things once you're done with the first round of the complete syllabus and you've revised a little bit here and then you can start all the papers so for that i would tell you for subjects which you find difficult so when you're doing the 10 year papers for any other subject i would tell you take a black pen and take the 10 years book take a copy a nice big copy where you can write down all your answers yes you have to write down like you are doing the actual paper itself just put a timer two hours or three hours whichever paper you are having do the reading time 15 minute reading time do the markings that is how you learn like during the reading time if there is any option in the questions then you're supposed to mark that first whichever one you want to attempt that is a very important thing to do during the reading time otherwise you will waste a lot of writing time and there is no scope for that during the reading time mark 
and try to answer the questions in the paper like make small markings don't pick anything it's not allowed in the paper so just take a pencil and whichever if there is multiple choice questions then just put a little dot you know near the answer what you think is the answer then just mark it slightly slightly so when you get the answer script and if you do the first few questions very fast you'll be very positive and motivated to complete the entire paper very fast so your entire paper will go very smoothly the first 30 minutes is the key time where you can just lose it completely or you know just be positive and do the entire paper very nicely so when you are reading the paper read it very carefully read every single question two to three times be completely sure what they have asked you should know what they are asking and this should be the answer so and especially in the pressy english language pressy where everyone is very confused how to write the 50 word summary for that i would say you have to take a pencil and write down a few points which you need to mention like 5 to 6 points that you want to mention in your pressy then you write a rough sketch एक दो वर्ड्स ऊपर नीचे होगा एंड देन यू राइट द मेन स्केच ड्रॉ द कॉलम्स नाइसली एंड मेक इट वेरी नीट एंड क्रॉस आउट योर रफ प्रेस ही वेरी नीटली डोंट मेक Mess. So when you're doing the ten years, you have taken your textbook and you've taken a nice copy. You're writing it down. So everything you've written, there may be questions that you know the answer, and there may be many questions just in case answer आपको नहीं आते. You don't know the answer of many questions. So what you do, leave the space or just don't leave. Do the questions that you know with a black pen, and when you're done with that, take a blue pen. Now take your textbook or just open the answer at the back. I would recommend opening the answer in the ten years book itself because it is a lot easier and you will save a lot of time. Now open that and copy as it is. Just don't be copying like you're not paying attention. Nothing is registering in your head and you're just writing what's written. Don't do that. First you read the answer, read it twice, and then close it. Then try to write it yourself. See, it's me. You will not remember it forever. So you have done it. Okay, do it for each and every answer. After that, what you do when you're done with the complete paper, then come back to question number one. Read it completely. Like read the entire thing that you have done, and along with that, you keep checking also whatever you've written in black is correct or not. And if it's not correct, then try to find out a pattern. Like this particular chapter is where I'm having the most trouble, or this particular subtopic is where I'm losing. I just got soup. I'm happy. I got soup. I love tomato soup. मोस्ट मिस्टेक्स and after exactly 7 days you are supposed to come back to the same paper and do it again i would say do one paper a day or maybe one paper in two days if you are starting early like you do section a of one paper today then the section 2 tomorrow and like that you keep doing you will easily be able to finish the complete 10 years very fast way before all your peers do and that will really help you boost your score boost your confidence and even your marks in pre boards and boards pre boards may some students do score little less but in your boards you will score higher because generally in pre boards the teachers dislike to cut a lot of marks and that is how you do the 10 years keep revising it keep revising every single paper do it 3 to 4 times at least as many times you do it the better you're going to get and the more you're going to score yes it's not like that if you've done one thing once it will just register in your head at least for an average or a good student it does not happen like that especially for toppers you'll ask any topper they'll tell you they've done every single paper multiple times they do questions multiple times repetition is very important they repeat the same thing again and again and that is how they remember everything 
so i would definitely recommend that to you so you should do that too okay and keep telling me in the comments also how much have you completed and another thing everyone wanted to know is sample papers sample papers pehle karne chahiye ya 10 years pehle karne chahiye do 10 year papers before you touch sample papers complete 10 year papers minimum 3 times then only go to sample papers before that do not touch any sample paper and don't buy the sample paper books right now it is not not that helpful in the beginning complete the 10 years aram se and then just a month or two months before your pre boards you can go and get the sample paper books or you could just check out the pdfs of different schools you know pre board papers of different schools very important you should do at least two to three pre board papers i will conduct a pre pre boards this year if you want me to i conducted those last year as well thoda kara tha but then फिर मैंने बंद ही कर दिया क्योंकि इट वॉज गेटिंग वेरी हेक्टिक फॉर मी ऑल्सो बट इफ यू आर वॉन्ट मी टू डू इट आई वुड डेफिनेटली डू इट दिस या एंड अ लॉट बिफोर योर एक्चुअल प्री बोर्ड्स सो दैट इट डजेंट मिस विद एनी वन रूटीन और एनी थिंग सो लेट मी नो एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग द टेन ईयर्स यू आर सींग द आंसर फ्रॉम द बुक इफ द मार्किंग स्कीम इज अवेलेबल यूज दैट यूज इट वेरी वाइजली टेक द मार्किंग स्कीम एंड राइट इट डाउन मार्किंग स्कीम इज लिटरली द बेस्ट resource you will find trust me it helped me so much it will be so satisfying also when you are doing the marking scheme and they'll give you all the points every answer is in point form so you know exactly kya cheez ke liye aapko marks mil rahe so marking scheme definitely do i posted one video of english language where i showed the marking scheme and uh, i would do it for other subjects also only if you tell me in the comments otherwise why would i do you know if you want it ask me and i'll give it to you ha huh? chalo aaj ka video is hari khatam karte hain i'll see you tomorrow at 5 pm don't forget to subscribe like this video and share it with your friends share it in your class group so it helps everyone if your entire class gets a good score it's really good for your school you know so yes it's very important and your peers like you know your classmates are not your competition like your competition is kind of in the entire country so yeah share it with your friends don't be weird just share it chalo mm -hmm.